Hi guys, um, John here from Pudsy RC doing a little review on the um, Aonway 5.8 GHz 200mW video transmitter. <clears throat> I love these, I love them. The, for the same price as the um, Immersion 600, I can buy three of these. And I'll just have a look at the footprint size. There's a 10 pence, a 20 pence, and a 5 pence. So you can see how small it is. <coughs> Now, what comes in the bag? Of course, you get the ion weight. You get the channel guide. 32 channels. All on this little micro board here. The channel changing, band changing. You get the antenna. I can't tell you what this is like because I don't use them. So that'll go in a box with a load more antennas and you get the cables. Power cable and video cable. What I'll do is I'll wire this up to the night thug because I destroyed the night thug one so this is a new one and I'll just start to do this little review on the 200 milliwatt because I've got a 600 milliwatt on the way and it'll be like a comparison. So I've stripped the wires and got them down nice and small because we don't need too much wire <clears throat> and it saves a bit of weight. I'll just show you how I wired it before I soldered it up. But first of all, I'll show you this bit here because it might confuse a few people. A lot of people will know, some people won't. <clears throat> but when you strip the end, this is the this is the end before you strip it. You've got wires, but you've got two blacks, which is, can be a bit confusing. Which is the earth but on the end here? I'll just get that thing back into shot. You can see that this one has only got a little bit of heat shrink around the end. So this is your earth, your main earth. There you go. It's a bit tight. And at the other end, it's just like this. It's wrapped around all bushy like this. See that? So that's your earth. That's your earth. I should just pull that out like that. Tidy it up. Swing it round. I will put some heat shrink on it myself when I come to soldering it up. That's your live, which I don't use. That's your audio. Your white is your audio. Your yellow is your video signal. <clears throat> so it looks like this. What I'll do is I'll put some heat shrink on that. So that's my earth, that's my audio, that's my live, which I don't use, 5 volt live. This man's a 12 volt camera. That's my audio, and that's no, that's my video, that's my other audio. So what I, how I'll connect it is these three wires will all link together like so and this will go straight let's get this into shot onto the power distribution board live uh, earth sorry so them three wires will be earthed to there the audio uh, the video wire sorry they're not the same colour will go to the video wire the 12 volts, because it's a 12 volt camera, will go to the camera and I connect it to the power distribution board like so. So then, if there is a problem with the camera, I can just switch out, put another camera in. I'd have to go all the way inside to get to the power distribution board to do a resolder. So that's that taken care of. And that goes to the own way, of course. <coughs> now, this bit. This bit's been stripped down and made a lot smaller. Same same process, just cut it in half, split it, resoldered it back together. And what I've done is got this coming off the clean 12 volts out of the power distribution board. And this will connect to here. 
the reason I put this connection on and not soldered it straight to the board which some people might do is because if anything goes wrong it can just come apart like that and I can just stick a new one straight back in anything goes wrong with this lead here I can just disconnect put a new one in I don't have to go inside and start resoldering again so I'll get that resoldered up show you what it looks like before we stick it on the model let's get a weight it's advertised at 6 grams the actual lay on weight itself on its own weighs 7 grams shaved all the wires off it weighs 9 grams 9, 9, 9 grams <clears throat> and what you see is done there look I've got the 3 herbs, the audio the two audios, the earth, uh, all wired in there, ready to solder it up. And what I did with the live was cut it halfway down, then put some heat shrink to cover the whole end, and then heat shrink to over that, so that's not going to touch the carbon fibre at all. So that's that bit done. Now let's just see how much weight I shaved off by stripping all this access wire. Because it's important to a lot of people, especially on 250s, 180s flying, cut as much weight down as you can. And there we go, 7 grams. <clears throat> We're just taking 7 grams off it just by simply cutting the cables in half and resoldering. So we now have it all wired in. It's going through exactly like I said. I will put some liquid tape on that earth connection there. And there's me video lead there that goes to the camera it can be unplugged at any point that's this starlight camera from Seville Zone nice camera we've got to get this quad rebuilt for a flight test with a night noodle but that's another story <clears throat> so let's connect some power and I'll just so there's no sleight of hand there's the mini base station let's see if we can get all this in shot And apply some power. Boop, boop, boop. And there we have it. Let's move this camera around a bit. Let's get it right way up. Nice clean. Nice clean signal. No lights coming up, uh, no lines because I've earthed the audio which stops the lines.